Hello everybody, this is Elmo the Conservative from Brutally Honest Talk Radio, an amazing conservative podcast that's available on Spotify, Rumble, YouTube, and other places. So this is in between episodes. This is not a full episode. This is just a short video because I had something on my mind that I wanted to talk about. I recently saw a video of Umar Johnson. It wasn't recently recorded, but I just recently heard it. So Umar Johnson is supposed to be a black leader. He's uh, from Philadelphia. I don't know, about 35 years old, maybe 35 or 40 years old. And he's uh, he's an emotional guy, speaker, that he goes around, he gets into debates, gives speeches, and he's he's promoting himself as a black leader. And he has his own school. He has own school for black kids. And so let me let me say a couple of things about him. The main reason I'm doing this is because he said something that, as far as I know, is incorrect. He said that every seven minutes, a black person is killed by a police officer in America. Okay, so just grab your mind around that. And a lot of people may hear that and go, yeah, that's right. Of course, that's true. We see it all the time. And uh, some of you may have seen, you may remember this video from Brandon Tatum, Officer Tatum. He went on the streets of Minneapolis and he was interviewing people and he asked somebody, how many people would you say that the the, the police kill? Uh, how many black people do you think the police kill? Because the person said, the police kill black people all the time. So he was like, well, how many people a day? How many black people a day? Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I don't think in terms of race all the time. I think of people as people and human beings. But, you know, talk, talking the language that is being presented. So they said, yeah, black people get killed all the time by the police. So... If I remember incorrectly, Brandon said, well, how many people do you think the police kill every day? And this girl was like, oh, hundreds, hundreds of, of black people are shot every day. Just talking about in one city, just in one city, Minneapolis. So, and, and Umar Johnson is a racist. I'll come back to that later. But first I wanted to say, he said every seven minutes, a black person in America is shot by a police officer. Now, let's do the math on this. So, basically, seven goes into 60, you know, meaning 60 minutes. Seven goes into 68 times, right? So, that, that's, that's, that would be, because 56 minutes. So, anyway, that would be like eight times an hour and every 24 hours, which is uh, like 196 people, close to 200 people every 24-hour period in America. 200 black people, close to 200 black people being killed by police within every 24-hour period. So the information that I found and that you can find, this is very easy to find, you can look it up on the internet, says that last year, there were about 220 black people killed by police total. Of those 220, it was like 19 that were unarmed. This is for the whole year, okay? So one of the things this means is that there's at least 30 states, at least 30 or 31 states in the entire union where no unarmed black people were shot by police. Now, it may be a little confusing and misleading because you think about what you see on the news all the time. But consider this, because, um, <laughs> okay, just, just consider this. So, every day in America, there's at least 100 murders. There's at least 100 murders. The total number of people that are murdered in America every day. How does the media, how does the national news decide 
which of those murders gets on the national news? Because they don't have room for all of them. Well, there's a list that they go down. There's a list. And one of the things on that list is if a black person is killed by a white police officer. That, that's popular. That sells. They know that black people are emotional. Okay? And the, the, the media is responsible for a lot of racism and perpetrating a lot of, a lot of racism and tension. Okay, so let me let me just say say a few things. I'm, I'm trying to run this down and give you all a quick video. Obviously, I'm a young man with a lot on my mind and, you know, trying to get it out. So, uh, Umar Johnson said this. If you do the math, that obviously doesn't add up. So, why is he saying this? Is he saying it because you can't be an effective race hustler unless you scare people? You got to lie. You got to distort the truth. You got to make people think that things are worse than they actually are. You got to make them think they're worse than they are because you can scare them. Because when you, when you scare people, they, they take sides, okay? They're either going to follow your leadership because they're so scared they feel like they don't know what to do, or they're going to separate from you and take matters into their own hands, Fear makes people scatter and choose sides. So that's that's one thing. All right. And, uh, you know, why? Why is he doing this? So let me let me just drop a, a few more facts. Right. There's more white people that are killed by the police every year than black people. You're not going to hear that on the on the news, on the media. Like I said, about 220 blacks last year. It was about uh 420 or 440 whites that were killed. Also, most of the police officers that shoot black people are black police officers. All right? And, and just looking at the whole country, the whole country, there's more blacks that kill whites than it is whites that kill blacks. Just something to think about the next time you see your social justice Nike commercial or whatever sponsor is talking about how, how, how bad and oppressed black people are and how mistreated we're supposed to be. All right. It's not adding up. So that's, that's one thing. All right. Here's another thing. It is so rare. It is so rare. I told you last year, 19 unarmed black people. 19 unarmed black people and uh, out of 340 million people was 40 million black people. So in all 50 states, 19 unarmed black people. That doesn't sound like an epidemic to me. How many people do you know personally who were shot by the police, whether they lived or died? How many do you know? Because I'm betting that most of you listening to this video don't know anyone. Don't know anyone that was shot by the police in the last 10 years. All right. I, I, I know how to do math and add stuff up. So I'm betting that, that most of you don't know someone who was shot and killed by the police. If you do know someone, ask yourself or find out or, you know, think back. Remember, were they armed? Were they a criminal? Were they committing a criminal act? All right. I salute police officers. I thank them for their service. They're doing a uh, they're doing a great job. There's a few bad cops, yes. You know, I've, I've ran into a few of them. So that that's one of the big lies that's told. And I say that um, I say that Umar Johnson is racist because he's called white people ice people, and he was debating this woman, and they were talking about homosexuality. And the woman was saying, well, Umar, since you believe that this is a, uh, a mental condition or because of something that happened to them in their past that caused them to be gay, then why don't these people who, who you know, are in this, in this fix, in this jam, in this pickle, why don't they go get and seek professional help? Umar Johnson's reply was, because black people are not going to go seek help from white people. Because white people 
are the cause of black people's problems. Black people aren't going to go seek help from white people because you don't go seek help from people that don't care anything about you. That was basically his response. You can go ahead and look this up. You know, this, this is, Umar got a lot of videos on YouTube and I don't know if he ever sees this, but you know, he may know something that I don't know just about the statistics with the police and black people being shot. I would like to know where you getting your information from. And then the other thing I'll say with the statements about white people is I don't judge people by groups. I judge people as individuals. And the bottom line, or one of the main reasons for that is because I don't want to be judged and criticized because of what another black person who looks just like me, crime they committed, who five miles away from here. I want to be judged on what Elmo does. All right. And that is, that is how dictators get into power. And, and uh, you know, yeah, I call them racist. You've heard some black people say that it's impossible for a black person to be racist. That is people who say that they're trying to give themselves license to be wrong and to treat, to mistreat people and to do the wrong thing. And this is, this is how our dictators got in power. This is what the Nazis said. They didn't say, well, we're not, we're not mistreating Jews by trying to exterminate them and get rid of them and put them in concentration camps in a gas chamber because they're not people. They're rats. This is what slave masters did. This is what slave masters would say or the lies that they would tell themselves to be able to hurt black people. It's okay for me to whip them and beat them and mistreat them and do horrendous things to them because they're not human. They're subhuman. They're animals. So we, we know what that leads to. We know the problem with judging people by groups and not as individuals. So I, I, just, I just had to say that. Please check me out and... You can look all this up easily, just like I said. Now, Umar Johnson claims to have six degrees, six university degrees. I don't have any college degrees. I just have a few college credits. But I'm a truth seeker and a fact finder. And I was able to know this and see this. And I'm an independent thinker, able to think for myself and able to, to research stuff and to go after and seek the truth. So uh, this, this person with th this incredible number of degrees who you have to be intelligent to get a degree, but they're, they're clearly not, not being honest and misleading folks. So thank you everybody for checking out all the episodes. We've got over 85 episodes on the channel now. i see you at the next episode, the next show, and have a good week. Take care.